Hi, um, hope you are all safe uh, during this uh, uh, corona crisis and uh, recently I have been spending a lot of time in the Middle East and uh, I encountered with a lot of my Islamic uh, brothers who have been so committed to their faith. Uh, we had no issues and uh, I am a Christian and uh, during the Eid time uh, we had great fellowship and they they ensure the thing, they gave me food and everything and all. It touched me and uh, as a Christian we always feel the thing like around uh, <coughs> will they accept Christ and come to come to them and uh, very interesting thought. So uh, soon after this uh, Lebanon uh, uh, explosion I was just uh, trying to read more conflicts in the Middle East. Uh, what is an unrest which has been happening and uh, going back to the history we found out that we have a common father the father of the faith Abraham who's been a father of the three major sect I would rather say the entire world has got a kind of a link with Abraham <coughs> uh, being that uh, for Judaism Islam and Christianity uh, recently there has been a study which has went on to the level that uh, the ten tribes have just spread all over the world and they got a kind of a uh, lineage coming from even to the uh, Burma or anywhere else. So that is another part of it. <coughs> so I found one interesting case, where can we find uh, the synergy of all of them put together, what can we do? Going back to the history on Genesis 25.9, I found uh, uh, Ishmael is a, a, a pitiable character. I, I just admire him a lot. Uh, such a beautiful guy came and joined with Isaac to bury uh, their father and they mourned together. They buried and shared their, uh, you know, like a missing of their father together. Uh, just one thought it came. What if uh, Ishmael and uh, Isaac decided to stay together and uh, they continued? and most of the differences would have been avoided. Maybe they would have shared the uh, blessings and uh, there won't be any conflict. So what has happened, the main reason Ishmael went on his way and uh, Isaac uh, went on his way and the huge, the two become a mighty nations and forming into Islam, Judaism and Christianity came out of Judaism. And uh, maybe some uh, theologians may argue that's the way God wanted it to be. I didn't see much difference because even if you see the difference from uh, uh, Jacob and Asa, uh, they were fighting with each other. But later on, there was not much conflict of uh, difference between Asa's descendant and uh, Jacob's descendant. And we all come a form and uh, faith of it. And uh, uh, Christianity coming out of Judaism, uh, it could have been a common way we would have thought about it. We just thought that if you go back to the history and if you have to redo a little bit of a tweaking here and there, uh, I wish that uh, Ishmael and uh, uh, Isaac stay together in a common brotherhood and uh, formed an ally. Uh, sad to see uh, there is no point of returning for these both, the descendants of these brother coming and holding their hands together in the common faith. Uh, very, very sad to see a lot of conflict, a lot of problems, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of bombing, a lot of hatred. It all happened because of one uh, trying to share, trying to claim that who is better than other. And I believe that there will be more uh, common faith to come. Uh, certainly that uh, Jews were blaming uh, Islamic uh, guys for even accepting Christ, okay, that is a that is the biggest uh, thing which we see there. Uh, they say the thing because Jesus is also one of the prophet uh, according to Islam. It could have been a common factor, uh, could have been a better way to follow the faith where when Christ came and uh, died for all of us, it could have been for all the three uh, brotherhoods, uh, they would come together. So just thought of sharing if this could be, the world could have been a better place still we can make it. That is what my faith and belief is all about. Thank you.